What you are looking at is a three-dimensional digital replica of a ruin we located using Google Earth. You will have access to this place yourself on your phone or computer where you can navigate through this ancient ruin, discover petroglyphs, and even inspect the fine details of this remnant of Native American civilization. I will explain how and why we are doing this in the course of this video. Furthermore, we use this technology to scan a segment of a vast and unique geological area that we go on to explore. This is in the effort to help you all, no matter your age, ability, or location, to experience beautiful nature and human history alongside me. This video ends with what I can best describe as flying a miniature spaceship through a Mars-like environment. Thanks for watching. So today, we are doing something a little bit different. I found this ruin on Google Earth, and it's right off of a dirt road, so we are able to get very close to it. And because of that, we have the ability to take a three-dimensional scan of this ruin. The way that we're going to achieve this is my brother has a very technical job, and one of the pieces of equipment he owns is a Matterport 3. And these have the ability to create three-dimensional renders of an entire outdoor or indoor area. And what we're gonna be scanning today using this technology, so you all can feel like you're here exploring these ruins uh, as I am doing today. And I specifically chose these because we have the ability to place the camera respectfully around the outside and even a little bit inside and it's not going to destroy or damage any of the ruin itself. I guess what we're doing here is we're bringing the most modern technology and combining it with some of the most ancient human technology. Me and my brother can't really figure out why this concept is so interesting to us, but we really feel like there's something here. There's an inevitable sort of thing happening in the world where ancient history is erased and new history comes and replaces it. And maybe by creating a three-dimensional scan of these type of ruins, we can help preserve them for a longer time into the future and help more people be able to appreciate and engage with them without the wear and tear that you know we're really exerting on these things, unfortunately, every time we go and step foot near one of these ruins. So maybe if we can create a digital image of them, we can help appreciate them and study them and keep their uh, keep their most intact state available for humans research for many years into the future. All right, so now Judson is going to start creating the three-dimensional render using this camera right here called the Matterport. And what it's going to do is it's going to rotate 90 degrees four different times, and then we're going to place it in different areas around the ruin without impacting any of the walls or touching any of the actual existing structure. And that way, you can actually explore and navigate through this three-dimensional space using the link I'm going to attach to the description underneath this video.
it's just a really, really beautiful ruin. It's not very intact. You can see how much of these very large walls have fallen down. I hope that the petroglyphs on these walls actually show up in the render because they are absolutely beautiful. So I get a lot of comments on this channel regarding how people can no longer do these type of outdoor activities. So they're grateful to be able to watch these kinds of videos that I create. For all of you out there that no longer have the ability to go and explore places in nature to do outdoor activities or perhaps live in a place where it's very difficult to do we wanted to try to make you all feel like you are here and experiencing this beautiful place as well That is ridiculous. How is that possible? Big boy. And on a tiny little stem. There's no way. There's one more flash flood away from toppling over. There's not anybody around here, I can tell you that much. We are going to be combining cutting edge technology with nature today. And that's all gonna make sense pretty soon. How many scans have you done so far? Got 11. Wow, really? Map out the entire canyon. So what we're doing right now is we're creating a three-dimensional render of this series of hoodoos and canyons right here. Click on that link in the bio of this video and it'll take you directly to the micro site where you can either on your computer or on your phone zoom and explore through this landscape as if you were almost there in person. So we'll watch it run a scan. Move with me. So you stand behind it when it scans, right? Yeah, so okay. the lens is facing out that way. You'll capture. Okay. So we're gonna move with it. Uh, we're not sure if anybody's ever done this because that camera is really the only type of camera that's capable of doing this. And this thing only came out, what, like a year ago? A year and a half, a year ago or so. Yeah, so it's only been out a year. So we're going to see how it turns out. There's a chance it might crash the site if too many people go onto it at one time. There's going to be a lot of trial and error with this sort of thing, but we're going to figure it out. And uh, either way, excited to bring you all another level of immersion. Wow. It's like we're on Mars. 
Check this spot out. Nice. Like, look at the rock textures here. It almost looks like these rocks have been tie-dyed. Creepy hole. Now we got one more thing to do today, and that is to test out the Ferrari of drones, the FPV drone, using this landscape as sort of like a natural obstacle course. Hopefully the drone survives. That'd be nice. The difference between this thing and my regular drone is that this one has the ability to bank and do curving turns. That is awesome. Oh my God. That's like a little mini fighter jet. And uh, the regular drone is more akin to a blimp compared to this thing. Basically, you have to plug yourself into the matrix to fly this thing. You can see the concentration on Justin's face right now. I'm ready for Top Gun, baby. This is really intense. All right, just flew the FPV drone. I'm gonna attach that footage right here. If you have motion sickness, or you get dizzy from watching fast moving video, this is a warning, this might not be for you.
I hope nobody got motion sickness from that. But that is legitimately one of the coolest things I have ever done. Anyways, we are gonna drive down this dirt road, get warm in the car, and call it a day. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, let me know. You. There you go. <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs>